Fellow Defenders of Democracy, I'm Laura Carter, the CC Dems Chair. Welcome and thank you for joining us for the 23rd Annual Roosevelt Kennedy Event and Gala. This is the kickoff. We're so glad you're here. My earliest memory of political activism was being recruited to paint my mother's campaign posters for her school board run. She ran to oppose a right-wing back to basics movement which threatened to eliminate all the arts from the public school programs. She won, and so did the students of the Flagstaff Unified School District. My most vivid memory of political activism took place in my own living room, where members of the Save the Peaks group met to plan ways to try to prevent a massive development that was planned for the San Francisco Peaks, including condominiums and golf courses. A favorite family story, the night Bill Breed sent Patrice Horseman off to Dervener Schnitzel to buy all the hot dogs because the Hopis were coming to protest at the city council meeting. She did it, they came and we won. And to this day, there are no condominiums or golf courses on the sacred peaks. I know that fight continues, but we know that a small group of people can gather together and work for democracy and make change. And that is what we are here for. So starting in 2008, I embraced political activism for myself, knocking on doors in the swing state of Virginia. I have volunteered for every presidential campaign since. When I retired from teaching in 2016, I moved home and immediately found my people, the Coconino County Democratic Party. Like you, I was crushed by the election results of 2016. But after three days of mourning, I got to work. Mission for Arizona recruited me to be the site launch director for the Flagstaff office. And there I got to meet and know so many of you out the door and back in again, sharing stories from doors, nearly 18,000 doors that we knocked on for that campaign. And now we celebrate a Biden-Harris win and our own top three elected officials going to Hobbs, Fontes, and Mays. I'm looking forward to your participation in this year's Roosevelt Kennedy event, where we gather together to celebrate our wins and raise the funds to continue our vital work, electing more Democrats in 2024. I'll hope you join me in giving what you can to make it possible to equip our volunteers with the tools that they need to be successful in canvassing for Democratic candidates across Coconino County. Your dollars pay for rent for the Murdoch Center, rent for our office, a salary for our vitally important operations manager, Monique Fresquez, all the tools and materials that we need for tabling at festivals, at fairs across the county. It's not an off year. It's already 2024, and we are already busy at work at the office. The outcome of this election will determine the course of democracy in the United States of America and the world. We stand together in the belief that a democratic administration is one that serves everyone, indigenous, African-American, Latino, women, children, LGBTQI, everyone with the integrity and a deep commitment to equality and justice for all. So then in November of 2024, we'll celebrate together, knowing that every dollar you gave, every door you knocked, got us to the place where democracy was saved. So just remember this, 2024 is already knocking on your door. How will you answer? Thanks again for coming, and we'll see you, I hope, on April 22nd for the gala event at Twin Arrows when we celebrate together as the Democratic Party of Coconino County.